Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're unable to connect to the DHCP server in Windows. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go and start by opening up the start menu. Just go left click on the start button one time. Type in device manager. Best match to come back with device manager. You want to go ahead and just left click on that. You want to expand the network adapter section. So either double click on it or left click on the right arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now for whatever your network adapter is listed under here, you want to go right click on it and then select update driver. Select search automatically for updated driver software. So if it doesn't find anything, just click on close, close out of here. Open up the star menu again, type in troubleshoot. Best match should come back with troubleshoot settings, left click on that. You want to scroll down underneath find and fix other problems and select network adapter, find and fix problems with wireless and other network adapters and select run the troubleshooter. So hopefully that'd be able to fix it as well. Another thing you can try, open up the start menu, type in services, best match should say services here. Go ahead and just left click on that to open it up. Now you want to locate the DHCP client service. Right here, double click on it. Make sure startup type is set to automatic and if it's not, change it to such. If server status says stopped, you want to click the start button and then select apply and OK. See if that's resolved the problem as well, which hopefully it has. Another thing you can try would be if you close out of here, open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to go type in ipconfig space forward slash release. Release should be attached to that forward slash out front, which there should be a space in between before the ipconfig. Hit enter on your keyboard. And now you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew. Renew, all one word, attached to that forward slash, and then ipconfig before, so again ipconfig. Then you want to do a space forward slash renew. Hit enter on the keyboard, give it a moment here, and once you've done that, that should be about it. So close out of here, and you should be good to go once you've restarted your computer. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.